Hey guys, Dan here with another episode. This is episode 25, and today I'm going to be continuing our uh, revamped cr uh, character creation. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to do a video on uh, some 3D stuff, so just to change it up from uh, all the scripting. So today I'm going to add a, uh, c we're going to use the camera we have in our scene that we've uh, been in, and we're going to set it up so that we can have a uh, an object rotate, and we can even set up little arrow keys in our uh, GUI or in our GUI script so that you can rotate the object and this object can be uh, where you put your character model if you have one so I'm in our scene I'm in the scene view now the same project we've been working in and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna uh, add a few objects I'm gonna add a uh, direction light and I'm just gonna drag it up to the top because it's not too important uh, for now actually I'm gonna reset it back to zero and then I'm gonna drag it up to the top and then I'm going to go into create other. And I'm going to create a. Uh, I guess we'll do. We'll use. I'll use a cylinder for the first one. And here you can see this is our scene view. And this is basically what the game is going to see. This is or what the player will see. So we have this cube here. And um, actually, I'm going to make a. Uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make it a box because I don't have real time shadows. Okay, so I'm just going to use a cube for now. I'll ex I'm going to put it in the middle. So basically, I'm just moving the arrow, the yellow arrow in this case, to kind of see where it is in our game scene and uh, see if I kind of like where it's at. So then I'm going to come over to a scale and we're going to change the Y scale. I'm going to make it like bigger. I'm going to make it like six just so that we can see it might be too big I'm gonna drag it up yeah so that's what I want I'm gonna change the scale of the size of X I guess we'll make it a little wider make that a five just like I said just to make it a little bigger make it look more full like a character uh, then I'll drag it up let's make it eight long uh, we can go even ten long we'll make it ten long and uh, I'm gonna zoom out in the scene again I'm just adjusting and there we go. I'm going to go ahead and label this as a player. Um, I'm going to tag it as player. And uh, what we'll do. Okay, so now that we have our player set up, and again, this can be a model. Uh, you can set up an entire scene actually and just have the 3D camera view it all. So if you wanted to make a background uh, and stuff, but basically I just want to show you that you can rotate a character around. And I'm actually going to make the Z a 3 as well, so it's a it's an actual uh, box when we rotate it. But what I want to do is, in our scripts, I'll have an arrow here, an arrow key here, and an arrow key here. And when you press it, it'll rotate in that direction. So now that I did the scene stuff, I'm going to go back into Mono Develop, and uh, we're, we can go into our display character uh, functions, display create character functions, and we're going to create a new function. And uh, we're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to actually we're going to go into our display main items function, and we're going to this is where we're going to write our uh, logic for our two buttons. So the first thing we want is a uh, we make a couple if statements, and the first one's gonna be if GUI dot button. It's gonna take a new rec, and we'll come back, and this is gonna be our arrow key. So we're just gonna do. I'm just gonna do that as an arrow key. I used uh, three si the left arrows, and uh, I don't know where we're gonna set it yet, but uh, for now I'll just do. I know I'm gonna want it towards the bottom. So I'll do, uh, let's see, we'll do 350, uh, like I said, towards the bottom we'll do 500, and then we're going to make it 50, uh, 50 wide, 50 uh, in height. And like I said, this is our if statement. So basically what's going to happen is if when we press this button, we want uh, turn transform tagged as player to the left, okay? And then we're gonna have another if statement, and it's gonna be if GUI dot button, not background color, if GUI dot button new rect. Again, we'll put it 350. We'll put it uh, five. We'll put it 600 this time. Uh, it'll be the same length, so 50 long, 50 wide. Or yeah. Uh, make sure we need to do our content, which in this case will be. 
uh, right arrows make your brackets and then we'll go in and we'll write a comment and we're gonna say turn transform tag this player to the right okay so now the next thing we need to do is find that transform and there's a few things a few ways you can do it and I guess we'll just do it in display main is we'll go game object uh, player is equal to uh, game object dot uh, find game object oh, do game object dot find game object with tag and then it believe it's parentheses and you go string and the tag is player and you got to dot transform so excuse me I want to make this a transform control s to save we're going to go to unity we might get an error <clears throat> and we don't we're, we have a uh, well we have an we have a warning because we're not using player yet but I'm going to go ahead and press play and we should see our buttons oh well I guess let's see control s we are displaying our made items so I don't see the buttons uh, we'll go back okay so we're in we're continuing displaying our display main items and control desk to save we'll go ahead and we'll set up this transform movement so we'll go player dot rotate or transform I think it is isn't it rotate yep it's rotate and that takes a vector three so we'll go uh, vector three dot up and Controls to save again. We'll go back into Unity, and as you can see, it's not perfectly centered. Actually, it's pretty centered, uh, not with all the rest of our GUI, but that's okay. You can actually adjust a lot of that stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna play around with the aspect ratios. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where these buttons are. They might be off screen. They might be way too low. So what I'll do is make this uh, 300, 300. Assuming that's the issue. Yep, and there they go. They just showed up now. So as you can see, it actually is rotating. Uh, that button's rotating. Let's see, 350, 350, at the same spot. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, excuse me, that's my phone going off. I'll move this to 400. Controls to save. Let's see what we got now. Okay, here we go. We got the two buttons, and only one of them's working. But as you can see, when I hit it, we're actually moving our character left. So now we want to make it so we're going to move it right, and then we can uh, play around with uh, changing how it looks. So we're going to go player dot rotate, and we're going to go vector dot down. Control is to save. Go back. And again, I'm actually going to move this to 450 just so we can see some more space. Make it a little prettier. And go ahead and oh, we can go ahead and press play. And now we have our two buttons. So as you see, when I press left, we're rotating to our uh, what looks to our left. It's a uh, model's right, but it's still doing what we want. Hopefully, you can see the difference on the uh, on the um, video. Now what you can do is you can multiply this up by a uh, speed, so you can say times 10 maybe. Um, I think it's 10. It might take a... Should be right, yeah. So it's going to just move it more, so it's quickly. Uh, it's not perfectly smooth, and you can smooth it um, using time dot delta time function. But in this case, it's just doing it in uh, increments. Um, Basically, it's doing in ten increments, um, ten units, which is uh, which is okay with me. I just wanted to give you guys the. I just wanted to show you kind of how it works, and again, uh, it makes it a little better. We can let's work on making it a little prettier. We're gonna we're gonna actually lower these down to three fifty instead of three hundred. Uh, I want to move this one to about three twenty, and we'll move this one to four seventy. 
again these are just arbitrary numbers they're pixel values or screen point values and that's kind of where I, I like that a little bit better I'm gonna lower them some more I'm gonna bring this one to 330 and I'm gonna drop them all down to 370 uh, the ideal thing what you want to do our smart way to do it is make each of those variables public um, almost there we make this back to 340 I guess oh not 240 Control S. The the best the smartest way to do this is to make each of these a public variable and uh, up top and so that in the editor you can actually edit it edit the very value so you can adjust it how you want. But here we go, this works for me. You can see we're turning left and right. We have our character now, we have a model. Uh, what you can do is is you can get really in depth with the scene view. You can kinda go in here and you can create a background, like a backdrop. Uh, say you want to add I don't know, maybe you guys are really good at art and you have like some really cool models you want to add and you want to kind of just get the idea to everyone. You can just keep adding them in, into the background so that in your game view you can see that they're there. And basically what this does is it kind of, you can just set up a, like a really cool scene. So uh, I know like a lot of like RPGs I guess or more of MMOs where you create your character, the start scene, there's like this beautiful cityscape or wilderness behind you can actually do that with this with this ability uh, and have specific control over just the character and not what's going on in the background so anyways that's what I wanted to cover today it's a little I thought it'd be a little more fun uh, it's pretty simple you just we're just rotating a transform left and right um, again if you want to smooth that smooth that animation you can use a time dot delta time so that it does it by seconds according to uh, frame rate um, Play around with it. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you have real-time shadows, if you have uh, your Unity Pro, you're on the Unity Pro uh, test, like the 30-day trial, you might, you'll be able to see some real cool shadows and stuff. I'm using the free version of Unity, so I don't have that. Um, but anyways, in the next video, I'm going to go over stat allocation. Uh, that should be up in uh, in a day, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll have it up in a day. Um, and we'll keep going on with our new and improved character creation. Uh, please like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Hope you find them helpful. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.